Now, aren't we? Lovely fish. What a booty. Absolutely. Yeah, baby. Lovely job. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. How you doing? So we're off out fishing. Going to put the boat in the water. Going to get the pipe rods out, play with some lures, some hard baits, some soft baits stuff like that have a little flick around see what we can find i'm actually going to meet lee today which has never been on the channel so it's one of my friends so we'll see him down there as well he's going to be out in his new sib should be cool so let's get on with the journey we'll get down there get the set up and get down the water yeah the old weather's still pretty bad, as you can see. Roads are still flooded. We've still got really heavy winds, but not too bad. Rain wise, which is cool. Don't mind about wind, but don't really want to get completely soaked. Just thought I'd bring you back in and show you some more deep puddles. <laughs> not as bad as they have been the last few days, they're starting to go down, but they're still really deep. This is what it has been like over the last few days or last few weeks really out our way very very deep water some places you can't even pass other places you can just about get through like this one but it's pretty bad i must admit but we should be able to get through this one today and let's carry on so we're all wrapped up today got the old neck thing on got the big jumpers on Got me suit and stuff there, top and bottoms. Uh, got me new ski tech boots. So I'll do a review on them once I've used them a few times. But so far, so good. So yeah, it's gonna be a probably a chilly one in the wind. But otherwise not too bad. So I hope everyone's good. I'm Carl. And this is Waterside for Adventures. Hopefully, let's go catch some fish. Well, we're nearly up that way now and as you can probably see, the old sun's come out, and guess what? I ain't got my sunnies with me. I couldn't actually find them, which is really annoying, but... Yeah, it's looking pretty good. It's really flooded, but... If that sun come out, it's going to warm things up. Which is cool. Let's hope that uh, Mr. Pike wants to come out to play. Right, I'll spin you around, we're nearly there. And we'll get the gear out. Now coming into Ludden Village. Turn on the right there's Howe Hill. Surviving the Ford garage on the right there. Not many of them about now. Not the little ones with a little petrol station. Gonna do a left here. And then a right. And that will take us down to Womack Stave, which is where we're gonna go today. So wind's gonna be a pain probably and probably blow us around a bit. But otherwise should be able to get there get that get out there stick the mud weights down and stuff in certain areas and have a cast about and hopefully hook up to mr pike so it's not too packed with boats and stuff so we can get in and launch near where we want to sort of thing shouldn't be too much of a problem even if it is as you can see it's still flooded along here as well Wee, that's pretty deep on the right hand side. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. It was very deep. This is that ditch on the right hand side of me. If you remember last winter, when all them salt tides come up, we had um, thousands, if not, yeah, probably hundreds of thousands of fish all in this ditch. They're all on top of each other, just swarming the whole ditch, trying to get away from the salt. Out of the way, Mr. Duck. <laughs> so we're 
coming up to our spot. Definitely looking windy, which is not the best. Be good for the fishing conditions, but oh yeah, look at that. You're gonna like this. Look at that. And that's why I love this spot, because it's just awesome. I'll give you a little look around in a minute. I'll get parked up and start getting my gear around. Well, we're in the water, everyone. Lee's over here it's from Lee's Angling Sessions. He's joining us today. We're angered up at the moment. I'm going to put a lure on, which I'm probably going to go for. Bear with me, so I'll put it down somewhere. <laughs> going to go for one of these to start with. Got hundreds in the bucket to choose from. But we'll try that to start with. See if we can get a few bites. Have a bit of fun with Lee. First time on his boat. I think he's really enjoying it. So let's see what we can do. Sun's right on my eyes, I ain't got my sunny glasses. But nice day, got swans around us. Lovely out here across this side, a bit windy on the other side, but all good. So I've had a few casts, everyone. Nothing yet, only four or five casts, nothing too crazy. Lee's just getting set up. Right, everyone, we're gonna change the lure. We're gonna go for a Western. And that's a 34 gram sinking. Rattly jobby, it's a nice beast, fairly heavy. Sport. Should be pretty good. He's over there, he's absolutely loving it, he's really enjoying it, so that's cool. Nice big boat going out, everyone. Lovely shot of Lee there in the old boat. There's the stafe, we're parked over there. And we've got the big old rescue helicopter now coming through by those things. I'll see if I can zoom in and get you. That's not the yellow one, it's, uh, it's an oil rig one by the looks of it. Lovely job. So I'm really enjoying this, the sun's out, the wind's over the other side, I'm sitting here in nice flat calm water, look at that look. Just drifting around nicely on the weights. We 
we're now about to do a little move and see if we can get a few bites. I think I had a couple of takes while we were here, but no actual hookups. Just sort of snatched at the lure. But I'm sure we'll find something if we keep moving about. So pulling your weight up. Stuck in the mud, so it's pretty heavy. Here it come. I've got two with me today, but only really using the one. Oh, we've got some mud. Look at that lot. <laughs> Yummy. Definitely dirty on the bottom down there, then. You'll find some mud, Lee. Yeah, I'll just Right, well, I'm going to have a little cruise down this way. Going to head down towards the island. Couldn't ask for a better day, to be honest. I was really worried that it was going to be rainy and really nasty wind, but it's absolutely lovely. Feels like a summer's day. See Lee in the background there, we're just cruising down the river. Hopefully finding some pike smashing some roach and stuff. Right everyone, we're gonna change Lure again. Gonna go for something nice and bright this time, gonna go for that paddle tail. See if that'll get him to snap at that a little bit. Just outside the island now, just having a sort of drift around the river. Having a few casts. Gonna put the weights in that down in a little while and see what we can find. So we're just cruising down river at the moment, having a look around, look for another nice spot. It's absolutely lovely when you're out of the wind in these sort of spots. It's really nice, really peaceful. Me and Leah just chatting away, having fun. Seeing a few fish move, just gotta anger up at a spot and hopefully get some takes. change over again we go for western roach I think that looked pretty good to me give that a go never used that before so put quite a few in the bucket today I've never used all sorts of stuff in there from rapalas and them sort of things some are cheap ones some are really expensive ones We've got a really good selection sorts of stuff. We just keep trying, I've got a big old golden rod there as well. It's not a new one that one. I did actually buy myself some gloves but I'm not using them because I'm actually quite hot. So we're gonna whack this one on, have the cast around and let's get a bite, come on. Right, so I'm gonna move on to a Savage gear, it's a gravity twitch, that's called this one. It's a shallow diver with the old beak. Hopefully that'll go down sort of half a meter, meter, and do us a business. I'm gonna keep switching around until we start finding some bites. Never know, we might even get a perch on some of these small ones as well. Just gotta try, everywhere's really flooded out. Everyone's gardens are completely flooded. So we're just doing our best and moving around and seeing what we can find really. It might be a case that later on in the day they might start feeding a bit more. But we're just doing our best in the time we got and see what we can do. Stand river a little bit, everyone. Give you a little 
spin around and show you what's what. It's lovely out here today. You should be able to see Lee there now in the distance. Just on the side there. I think he's sorting out another lure and getting ready to cast something else out. I'm moving down river a little bit and I'm going to chuck you a weight out see what I can get. Right, I think I'm going to settle here somewhere, chuck the weight down. We're even both weights, not sure yet. It's a bit of a, a faster retreat for that one for it to sort of spin around a bit. So let's whack it out there and bring it in fairly fast. Avoid you don't get no action if you go too slow with it. I've been trying lots of different baits, lots of different colours. Some near the surface, some sinking down to the bottom. Much further down the old river now, we've moved down probably half a mile or so, something like that. Just gonna have a little more up and he's gonna have a little sort of shift about, move around in his boat. We're on the old Womack dike moorings. As you can see by the signs there. All right everyone, I'm putting a Western Chatee, it's called. That one there, nice paddle tail, weight on the front. Now, 10 grams, should be pretty good. Orangey sort of cleary, speckly, glittery colour. And I've got cleary sort of one as well. As I'm using the new lures, I'm putting them into my new, into my new box, which is quite cool. It's not sponsored or anything, but it's actually a fox spray, you know. Pretty tough, I could probably stand on it. It's quite good. So we're going to cast this around for a little while. Well, Lee's going to jump out of his boat and have a shift around. If we can get a hook up the sun, that's absolutely lovely. It's lovely and warm. A bit of wind, but it's nothing to worry about. We want Mr. Boyd to take his tail now. Hook up. It's a bit windy down this end, everybody. So I'm going to move back towards the calmer water. Back down towards the island and the actual stafe. Get cast around there with some different lures and stuff. It's normally where I get the bite. Right everyone, I'm gonna switch over to this Western fat bite it's called. Yep, hello to you as well. Canadian geese? No, Egyptian geese? Yeah, it's called a Fat Bite Western. It's a floating lure and that'll dive down 24 gram, 8 centimetre. As you can hear, he's got a rattle. Running depth is 0.8 of a metre, so half a metre or so. Let's get it out, let's get it on. Let's hope that catches the fish. Lovely Egyptian geese there, everyone. Got right next to them. They're moving a little bit, but it's nice to get a close up of them. 
can see Lee there in the background, casting away. Believe it or not, they're actually standing on land that's flooded with water. See the whole area, I'm getting drifted in, so I'm going to have to sort that out. So we're heading around the old island, everyone. You can see big old water in front of us. Hopefully you're better set. I think it's two actually, yeah, two. Obviously diving for the old fish. See if we can get a bit of a close up. I'm probably gonna scare them though. So we're in a little bay now, everyone. Got boats that way, boats that way. Little slipways off the sides and stuff, and we're just sort of casting around. I'm trying this little one now, going a bit more for the nest. Little gentle little paddle tail, no weight. See if we can pick up a pike or a perch. Well, wow, everyone, Lee's gone in. But it's nice to be out with him for the day. We had some good fun, driving up and down the river. Some good chats and laughs. Been all right. I'm gonna carry on for a bit and just see if I can get a fish on the last couple of hours of light. Probably sort of the best time. To give me a chance of getting something. So we'll keep changing lures up and see if we can get another bite. I've had a couple of bites that didn't really took properly. I haven't actually hooked up properly and. Start a plan of fish, so let's see if we can get one and get it in the boat. Sun's starting to go down a bit now. Sort of in the shady areas which you'd expect the pike to be and be feeding. Got the old mud weights down either side and just selecting through the lures and stuff. Hoping to get that bite. So I'm gonna Switch over to a Rapala, slow sinking bait. Super Shadow Wrap, it's called. Look quite smart. Let's get it out. It's still all sealed up. As you can probably see, I've got about 15, no, probably about 25 new lures. <laughs> Yeah, looking pretty nice. Look at that beast. Let's give that a go, take the rubbers off. Touch some bits, we've got a bit of a rattle in it, but not. Yeah, it's fairly loud. Lovely colors, not bad. Get it attached and see what we can do with that. Literally just on a snap link with a little wire trace. The trace um, wire is 40 pound, and then we're on to 25 pound mono today, I think. Not on braid today. Just turn the rubber off. Right, should look pretty good in the water, hopefully. Yeah, it takes a bit of a, a faster retrieve for that one for it to sort of spin around a bit, so this. Whack it out there and bring it in fairly fast. Otherwise, you don't get no action if you go too slow with it. Be 
been trying lots of different baits, lots of different colours. Some near the surface, some sinking down to the bottom. Come on, fishies. I know we saw a couple of rotters earlier on, but I'm sure they ain't cleared out the whole lot of the pike in the area, surely. It swims in pretty well, it's just like wiggles like that as it comes in. Side to side like a sort of a dying fish. Uh, I'll keep casting that around and hopefully I'll bring you back and we've got a fish on. So nothing on that one. So I'm going to switch over to a Savage Gear. The sinking rattly bait. It's called Fat Vibes. But it's basically a tiny little shiny perch. We're going to whack that on. Oh, sailing boat coming through. You can probably see in the background there. Quite a small one this one, I'll show you and I'm now gonna put it on. Just said goodbye to Lee, he's just got back in the car and he's on his way back to where he lived. That's basically what it is. Nice little perch. Looks good. Let's hope it do the business. Keep getting them cast out there as much as I can till we run out of light, but the old sun's going down quite quick now, so I'll do my best. Loads of geese flying across. You can probably hear. Absolutely loads of This is normally someone's back garden. As you can see the benches and stuff. But at the end here the whole place is completely flooded. Can't see any of the grass. Everything's just covered in water. Fish on everyone, fish on. Here we go. Woohoo! It's been hard work, but we managed to get one. It's only a small one, but at least we've had a fish so far. Fish on. It's not the biggest. Let's go mental on me. It's not the biggest, but at least we've got one. Only a jack, but pretty cool. Happy to get a fish. Awesome. Let's see if we can get a few more. Slide him back. <laughs> Don't think he needed to rest that one. He was pretty mental. Didn't give a crazy fight. We just got him in and got him sorted. Well, I'll just keep moving around and trying all different spots. I've just tried up the stafe again. Took the weights over the edge and had a good cast about. Joe and Andy popped down and said hello. And I'm now moving just down river again, sort of halfway between where I had the fish and the stafe sort of thing. And having a little go along there. So I'll get down there, get the weight out, and we'll have a cast around. And hopefully we'll hook up again. Sun's gone down now, as you can probably see in the background. It's getting pretty chilly now, obviously because there's no sun enough to keep me warm, but I've got the gear on, it's just the hands are a bit cold, but nothing to worry about. It's gone lovely flat calm, and there's loads more of them geese now flying over, probably hear them in the background. But that, that really nasty wind we've had all day is pretty much gone, it's quite nice. Let's hope we can find a few more fish when we get down this end. 
should be pretty cool. But I'm not complaining, we've had the fish now. I sort of made the trip, at least we've actually had one. Put in plenty of effort, we've been here a few hours. So, pretty good. Let's carry on and see if we can get a couple more bites before dark. You never know. Look how flat, calm everything's gone now. That's lovely. Couldn't ask for anything more. Just moving up here, see if I can try some other spots. No more bites yet. Just thought I'd bring you back in and let you have a little look where I'm crawling up to now. Just cruising along. small fish coming up on the surface you can probably see that in the camera well it's getting pretty dark now so I'm sort of heading back towards the car now stop off and have a couple of casts still on the edges of the island and around some little bays and stuff like that on the way but I haven't brought any like night gear or anything with me tonight today because I was only planning on fishing until sort of this time really you never know we might hook up one more if we don't I'm quite chuffed that we've got the one it's been a hard afternoon but had a good old go Tried out lots of new lures. I'm out on the new boat. Out with the new with the new engine. And it's been quite a nice day to be out on the boards to be fair. Not so nice now, it's pretty cold now. You never know. Let's have a few more casts and see if we can hook one more up. Swans following me down the river now. Food off me. I ain't got nothing to give them. <laughs> so we're coming up to where the car is now. So I'm going to launch up onto the stones because it's all flooded and I can just drive straight onto the road, <laughs> which is a bit crazy. And hopefully, get packed down before it's dark. Probably won't, but at least we'll be on the bank again before it's dark. Lovely flat calm broad. Then if you can hear the owl in the background, there's an owl tooting away. pull up just in front of the stafe on the other side and just have one more cast about or oh, still just got a little bit of light you never know we might get a hook up Hello, 
Mr. Duck, how you doing? <laughs> Got a duck talking to me. Probably coming right next to the edge of the boat. I'm surprised I ain't had any up this end today. This area is normally an area where I normally hook up. Right, I'm going to dump away it down in the middle here, have a little cast around, and then we're going to have to head for the car. Right, so we've got the weights down, last two casts. You never know though, I've hooked up on the last cast before. This big rattly beast on at the moment. It's obviously underwater, it's probably a lot darker than it is out here. There's a few fish coming up to the surface, but they're only like little rud and stuff. Come on, fishies. Run up higher in the water, shall we? See if that does us any better. Lovely shot, just right under that tree there. Well, I think it's coming towards the end. There's not much I can do now. So I can't stay out because I've got no lights or nothing on the boat and no headlamp or nothing on me tonight, so that won't be no good. I still, obviously, pretty light enough for me to see to get to the car and stuff and other boats to see me but in half an hour's time it won't be right I think I'm going to call up there and head to the car put this one back in the old lure box what I've been doing is I've been unwrapping all the new lures today I'll show you in a sec let me unclip this Getting dark quick. Oh, got a load of swans behind me. What I've been doing is unwrapping them all and then just putting them into this box as I've been doing it and like moving the sections about to make them fit each lure. Starting to look pretty cool. I've got two of these, I'm probably going to want quite a few more by the time I've got all the new ones out. But they're good boxes, they're nice and solid. Right, I'm going to head over to the car. So, appreciate you watching, thanks very much. And um, yep, we got one fish, so that was cool. Hello, Mr. Swan, that's a bit close, mate. Hey. <laughs> right, I'm gonna blast in, get this lot all put in the car. Got mud everywhere, got batteries and engines and stuff to put away. So, I'll see you soon on the next one. We'll do a little drive out with the car if I can get some light going because it's all flooded completely out there. So, we'll, we'll see that on the way out. And um, I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot. I don't know if you can see that in the air there, then big bright lights there. It's a plane or a helicopter coming towards us. is 
was a big plane and they're going right over the top of it. <laughs> Probably see the new car just sitting there. Oh, wow, we're back in the car. Everything's all packed away. I'm just sitting here having a bit of the old drink. Took me suit and boots and everything off, got my trainers back on. Whew, now to drive home. We'll just do a little drive out and show you the flooding. We're us coming over the edge of the broads and into the car park. That's starting to go back down now because the tide's going down. But it's still pretty messy, so let's spin around and have a little work through that and start driving home. So this is what we got. Pretty much see the broad gone over the broad, over the broad, yeah, over the side. It was a lot, lot deeper at high tide. I was up and onto the grass and everything, but just thought I'd show you, sort of best I could. Hope if anyone else has been out recently, they've caught a few fish. Fairly tough day for me, but we managed to pull one out, and that's what it's all about. It was a good day out anyway. Nice meeting up with Lee. Lee angling sessions. Nice to see him in his new boat and everything. And I'm sure we'll meet up with him again at some point. Right, let's see if we can get through this road and not be too flooded out. Normally this road can get really deep, but I think with the tide going back down again, it's probably pushed back out. But I'll bring you back in if there's any really deep ones on the way home. If not, thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it, hope you're enjoying it, and I'll see you very soon in another video. Here we go, <laughs> our roads full of water. <laughs>